Crystal clear water may seem elusive, but it really doesn't need to be. It's actually very simple to have crystal clear pond water every time. G'day, my name is Kev, and the aim of my channel is to help people achieve the pond they've always dreamed about without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that you'd like, please subscribe. So to achieve crystal clear water doesn't need to cost a lot of money. It doesn't need to involve expensive filter systems or tons of chemicals. In fact, the water clarity in the majority of my ponds are being maintained by simple homemade filters. The water is being kept clean and clear by naturally occurring nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria are essential to the overall health of the pond and its inhabitants. So let me tell you a little bit about how this all works. When fish breathe, they produce ammonia. Ammonia is a form of nitrogen. Decaying leaves, leftover fish food and fish waste will also add nitrogen to the water. When ammonia is added to the water, it will build up and can, can very quickly become toxic to the fish. It actually doesn't take much ammonia at all to cause serious problems. Now some of you may be aware that nitrogen is a vital ingredient for plants to grow. And remember, ammonia is a form of nitrogen. Nature's pretty remarkable and wants life to thrive. So what happens is a certain plant will grow very quickly to consume the nitrogen, and that plant is commonly known as single-celled algae. Single-celled algae is very common in ponds. It is actually keeping the water safe for the fish and other aquatic animals by consuming the nitrogen. Of course, the problem is, in a pond like this, you can't see the fish unless they come to the surface. So to go from this to this, you need something else to process the nitrogen, and that's where the nitrifying bacteria come in. Just like the single-celled algae, the nitrifying bacteria are completely natural and are provided by nature. All that they require are wet surfaces to grow on. This can be rocks and gravel, underwater structures, submerged plants, roots, even the liner itself. So you may be wondering, if it occurs naturally and grows on everything, how come my water doesn't look like this? And the answer is, you simply don't have enough nitrifying bacteria to process the amount of nitrogen being produced. And so if the nitrifying bacteria can't process it all, in steps our old friend, or nemesis, depending on how you look at it, single-celled algae. So therefore, the key to crystal clear water is having enough bacteria to comfortably process the amount of nitrogen being produced inside the pond. To do this, it's all about surface area. More wet surfaces equals more places where beneficial bacteria can grow. You may have already noticed that all my ponds have rocks or underwater structures. These not only naturalise the pond and give the fish shelter, but they increase the amount of surface area for the bacteria. The other thing all these ponds have is a biological filter. We call it a biological filter because it's alive. They are alive with masses of nitrifying bacteria and other beneficial organisms. Biological filters come in all different sizes and shapes, but they all aim to do the same thing. They are filled with either rocks, filter pads, sponges, bio balls, ceramic noodles, plastic aquarium media, fired clay balls, basically anything that will enhance the surface area available for the nitrifying bacteria to grow on. I personally prefer to build my own biological filters. As the water moves through the filter, the bacteria process the nitrogen and that eliminates the need for the single-celled algae to grow. And bingo, you end up with crystal clear water. So if you find your water looks like this, you need to add more biological filtration to get the water back to looking crystal clear. You may have even had crystal clear water in the past, but over time the clarity has continued to decrease. This is quite common. As the fish grow, or more organic materials like decaying leaves find their way into the pond, the nitrifying bacteria need to process more and more nitrogen. Again, if there aren't enough bacteria to process the increase, along comes single-celled algae to keep the water safe for the fish. Over the next few weeks, I'll make some videos explaining exactly how I create and configure the plumbing on these cheap DIY biological filters. 
and what sort of materials you can use to build them yourself. Like I said, the aim of my channel is to help you create beautiful ponds without spending a fortune. There's no need for UV lights or expensive additives to achieve clear water. Nature's provided all the tools, we just need to use them. I hope this has been helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.